Hey again. So in one of my previous videos, I already showed you how you can turn your S7 1200 or S7 1500 into an MQTT client. But what I realized is I didn't really cover the broker part. So I've made a very short video for you showing you how you can set up a mosquito broker on your Windows machine step by step. Okay, so what we are going to do now, we are going to install a mosquito on a Windows machine and we'll make sure we are using a username and password for authentication. Uh, that's actually very simple. Uh, we need to go to Google and look for uh, Mosquito. The website is actually mosquito.org. Then you go to download sections, find yourself the um, install file for 64-bit um, Windows probably. Um, takes a second to download. When this is done, we start the file, we run it, we can close the browser in the meantime. Yeah. And we just click through it, we make sure it's running as a service. Uh, let's just install it directly in C Mosquito. And there you go. Mosquito is now installed. If we fire up the command line. As an administrator, we should be able to start this service. Now, to test if it's running, let's quickly grab ourselves a Mosquito client, uh, sorry, MQTT client. So, MQTT Explorer is what I'm usually using. Feel free to use anything else. Uh, Windows installer again. Okay, it takes a second to install, to download, sorry. Then we start it quickly. Yeah, again, run anyway, that's fine, that's all good. We can close the browser. MQTT Explorer is now installing for us. There you go, there is our MQTT Explorer. Let's try to connect to ourselves. So, local host on 1883, connect. And there you go, there's your uh, Mosquito Broker uh, running. So, there are two more things we want to do. First, we want to make sure that uh, no unauthorized access is allowed. So we want to set some username um, and password. Uh, for this, we need to create ourselves a password file. This is one way of doing things. So I'm going to quickly fire up Notepad again. As administrator, yes. I'm going to now create a new user. The username is MQTT. Password will be I love Sematic. And I'm going to save this file. Uh, in my install directory, so here as password. So I now have a file with clear text passwords. Um, I can use a password utility uh, provided with Mosquito uh, to encrypt the password itself. All I need to do is I need to uh, navigate to CD Mosquito, was it? Yeah. And here I need to run this utility, so mosquito password. And my file was think password. Yeah, let's see if this got created. So what they should have done, they should have converted uh, my password file and encrypted the password itself. So it's not clear text. So that's done. Let's start the MQT Explorer again. Again, we create this was the connection. Should have saved it, I guess. Localhost, localhost, and the username was MQTT. I love semantic. Did I punch it correctly? Of course not. Save this, connect, and there you go. Add this works. But let's see if it works without. It still works without. So. We need to do something about um, the config file. So if we go here again to this PC, see in Mosquito or wherever you installed your uh, your broker, there is a Mosquito config file. This file uh, contains anything and everything that you might possibly want to do with 
uh, your mosquito configuration. So there is a load of flags that you can set up. We are interested in two flags. One is allow anonymous access. And it's here. So I don't want anonymous access. And make sure that it's using the password file that, that we actually specified. So password file. Because what happened before really was it just logged us in as anonymous users. So password file. And we are at C, uh, mosquito, and then password, I think, was it? Let's just double check. Yeah, C, mosquito, password. Uh, keep messing with it, these guys. So let's now restart the, um, the service. So let's stop. Mosquito. Let's start. Mosquito. Let's try anonymous access again. Connection refused. Let's try username and password. It works perfectly fine. So that's exactly what we needed. One last thing that we want to do is we kind of like to access this thing uh, from outside, yeah? So we are currently, let's see, what are we? Change adapter options. ROP is 0 0.15. So let's jump out of this VM. And let's see if we can actually connect. So um, let's call it 15. 192.168.0.15 MQTT I love Simatic. And you will find that we can't. The reason for this is the firewall is still blocking our connections. Uh, so if we open up the firewall settings, uh, we need to create a new inbound rule and allow port 1883 on TCP to go through. Or any other port if you are using some some other port. But by default, MQTT uses 1883. That's enabled here. Let's check again. Oh, and it already connected us. So as you can see, all good. And we can browse all the topics. We have full access to the server. So that's it, guys. Uh, have fun with your mosquito broker.